True fans live for their team. For those true U of A fans, there is Hughes Federal Credit Union. Show your U of A spirit and put technology and convenience at your fingertips. Hughes Federal Credit Union. Smart choice. Welcome to Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley here with Greg Hansen. Greg, big game Saturday in Tempe. Arizona Wildcats are 6-5, and five, looking to improve their bowl standing. Standing in their way is rival Arizona State. They're 5-5. Five and five. Over the years, Greg, the team that kind of is more desperate for a win typically wins. Which team right now is more desperate? Boy, I'd say they both lead the league in desperation, don't they? Yeah. yeah. I mean, if, if you'd have said on August 31st that the records would be 5-5 five and 6-5 five and six and five going into this game, you'd have said you're nuts. I know. Well, and what's interesting, too, I mean, ASU, as much as here in Tucson we're focused on how disappointing the Wildcats have been, right. ASU has been exponentially worse. Yeah. I mean, this was a team that Todd Graham said was the best he'd ever had. And they come out and they lose their opener to Texas A&M, and things have kind of gone south ever since. They need to beat Arizona and then win at Cal, which is not easy, to finish above the Wildcats in the standings. Yeah, you know, I thought, I thought ASU would win the division. Yeah. And as it turns out, the North Division and the Pac-12 is better than the South Division. I know. I mean, who told you that? Nobody. Nobody. I know. It's, it's so strange. I mean, before the year, we thought it was Oregon and Cal. Yeah. Basically, Stanford, you were down yeah, on Stanford. Yeah, I was, yeah. Um, and, you know, now you look at the South and see how Utah is faded. USC is strange. Scarred. You know, yeah, UCLA just can't seem to bring it all together. And then you've got the Wildcats and Sun Devils. Uh, Greg, Anu Solomon, I think we can both agree, played the best game of his college career Saturday before he was knocked out with a concussion in the fourth quarter. 270 passing yards, nearly 100 rushing yards, making good decisions, running at will. How important is he and his return for their chances to beat ASU? I don't think they have a chance, a prayer, if he doesn't play. Really? Um, I just think ASU is still good enough defensively to scheme against Gerard Randall, mm -hmm. take him out of the game, make sure he doesn't run. Mm -hmm. Maybe he'd break one. Yeah. But um, I think Anu was the best player in the field against Utah. Mm -hmm. I think if Anu played for Utah, Utah might be undefeated. I think that if Anu played as well against, U or, uh, as well against say, Washington, as he did against USC yeah, and then Utah, one. you know, maybe Arizona's looking at having seven wins heading into this game instead of just six. Greg, you've watched this rivalry for the better parts of three decades? Mm -hmm. Wow, three decades. You've watched this for the better part of three decades. The game always comes down to something. <laughs> what is going to be the key Saturday? Well, if you can predict that right now, like Alex <laughs> Zendejas missing two extra points in the last seconds of the game, yeah. You should go right to Vegas That's because right. there have been so many unpredictable things happen. Mm -hmm. You cannot guess what's mm -hmm. going to happen. Who do you think, if you had to d highlight a guy who might be the difference? I, I still like ASU's defense. Mm -hmm. I think their defense will, will turn the game. Yeah. Um, but they don't have a star. Right. With Simone injured, I don't know if he was a star anyway. Well, he was their leading tackler, but, yeah. but that doesn't say a whole lot. But... Um, I, I just think home field advantage, ASU's probably going to win. Sure. I think it's going to come down to special teams. Arizona fans don't like to hear that, I know. But very quietly, I think Arizona's had maybe the best punter-kicker combination yeah. in America. Last week lost in that win over Utah was the fact that Casey Scourin was nails. Yeah. I mean, just the whole time. The field goal in the first overtime, right down the middle, split the uprights, was, was good. And Drew Riggleman, I think, is the best punter in the West to this side of Tom Hackett. Yeah. And uh, to me, it's going to come down to one of those two guys making the play of their life if Arizona is going to pull off the upset. To me, Casey Scourin escaped and just triumphed in a moment last year, mm -hmm. last week. Mm -hmm. If he'd have missed that overtime kick against mm -hmm. Utah, that would have been the final game of his home career. Yes. I thought once he made that, everything now is, is good for him. Absolutely. Well, a showdown as usual when the Wildcats play the Sun Devils. Big game Saturday, 1.30 p.m. Sun Devil Stadium. You'll be there. Yeah. You, you like it there, don't you? I love the atmosphere there. Yeah, it's great. Uh, and I will be there too, obviously. Uh, that'll do it for this episode of Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. For Greg Hansen, can we carpool? Yes. Woohoo! I'm Ryan Finley. We'll see you next time. True fans live for their team. They buy the gear. They order the tickets, they pay for the seats and the experiences. 
For those true U of A fans, thankfully, there is Hughes Federal Credit Union, offering the latest payment choices such as U of A debit cards, paying online, paying a friend with pop money, or using Apple Pay with your mobile phone. Show your U of A spirit and put technology and convenience at your fingertips. Hughes Federal Credit Union, smart choice.